Bisexual. What is a bisexual anyway? Is it a woman who isn't really bisexual, just a lesbian who doesn't dare to come out? No. Is it a woman who really isn't bisexual, but just does it to turn men on? No. <laughs> is it someone you should never be crazy enough to have a relationship with? because before long, she'll dump you to go off with a man? No. Is it someone who'll sleep with anything with a pulse? <laughs> so, so, if you want a threesome, it's your lucky day. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I'm here to set you straight about what a bisexual is. I am bisexual and I'm not just a figment of my own imagination. <laughs> I've lost count of the number of people who have tried to enlighten me about my orientation. I'm sure many lesbians here have also had to deal with prejudice. Like people saying, you're not really a lesbian, you just haven't met the right man. <laughs> or realizing that some people reduce you to a sex act and no longer see you as just a person. We're all in the same boat when it comes to prejudice, so would it surprise you to hear that I'm more likely to get anti-bisexual remarks from lesbians than from bisexuals? Here I am, standing in front of you now, a very publicly out bisexual woman, feeling slightly uncomfortable about sharing the reality of my sexuality with you, because I'm nervous about your reaction. The most difficult words to get out of my mouth are, I live with a man, because they usually lead to total dismissal and being erased. You're no longer bisexual because you're with a man now. That's what I usually hear. It's a no-win situation. If I live with a woman, it can only mean that I've finally come to terms with the fact that I'm a lesbian. Can you imagine how difficult it is for bisexuals to come out and confront this kind of prejudice from straights and from lesbians? We just can't get a break. Can you see how a space that feels safe for lesbians might not feel safe for bisexuals? Many bisexuals will enthusiastically seek out lesbian spaces, only to be so bewildered and hurt by the experience that they run back into the closet where it's safer. Bisexuals are more likely to be in the closet at work than their lesbian colleagues. If you've been rejected from the lesbian community, you're left without a network of support. Bisexual activity, activity is mostly limited to organized groups of mainly activists, which isn't everyone's cup of tea. So many bisexual women end up isolated from the bisexual community defined by the outside world according to their current partner, straight if they're with a man, lesbian if with a woman, a woman, blending in until no longer visible. Any kind of lesbian groups or activities at work are going to seem very intimidating. They would require a somewhat public coming out with no guarantee of acceptance. So, if existing lesbian spaces aren't the answer, how do you go about making safe spaces for bisexual women at work? It needs to be a two-pronged approach, tackling biphobia while making lesbian spaces more inclusive. There needs to be a lot more awareness of unfounded prejudice about bisexuals and how it forces us into invisibility, both in the straight world and in the lesbian world. 
What can you do? You can fight common bisexual prejudices with facts. We do exist. Bisexuality isn't just a phase. We don't need to make up our minds because we already have. We're bisexual. Fight erasure. Make sure that we're never invisible. We're still bisexual when we're in a relationship with a man, so don't exclude us. Don't use lesbian as an umbrella term that is supposed to include us because it doesn't. We're not lesbians, so don't leave us out. Say bisexual loud and clear. And then it's necessary to make the space more inclusive. There are going to be many more bisexuals in the workplace than you think, and few of them are going to be out or feeling safe enough to openly join such a narrowly defined space. It's hard to be out when you're isolated from others like you. The safest place for everyone is probably something based on the U.S. model of school gay-straight alliances. Yes, another by invisibility friendly name. Like L Women at Work. A catchy name indeed, but my first reaction was this is only for lesbians. Are you beginning to get the picture? So, how about a space for lesbians, bisexual women, and allies? Somewhere safe where you don't have to define yourself. Unless or until you feel comfortable doing so, it could be a lifeline for many women, even lesbians who are struggling with their identity. You can ask out by women to be involved in organising it, to ensure that we are not excluded, made invisible, or faced with biphobia. This is so important because you might not even be aware that you're doing it. Okay, so here I go again. This time, even louder and prouder. My name is Ronit. I am bisexual. I was born this way. I live with a man, but that doesn't stop me from being bisexual. I don't sleep with every random person or persons I meet, but even if I did, that wouldn't be anyone else's business. If this is a phase I'm going through, then it's one hell of a long one. <laughs> I'm not confused. I don't have to make up my mind. I'm out. I'm proud, and I'm loud. Don't erase me. Don't deny my existence. It took me a long time to stop being invisible, to find my voice, to stand up tall and talk back. Don't forget that. Don't forget the bisexual women at your workplace who are still isolated and silent. Give them a safe place where they can be themselves without fear. We all deserve that. Thank you. <laughs>